Hey everybody, JT here with another All Tricks in ChatGPT example. Um, in this one, we're going to be talking a little bit about coding. So, you know, one of the nice things about All Tricks is that it is a low code, no code platform. However, you know, if you want, you can bring in your own R code and Python code. So, in this example, what we're going to try to do is see if we can take a little bit of R code and convert that into Python. So, uh, looking here at our R tool we have here on the canvas, if I look over on the left, we can see our script that we brought in. And really what this is doing here is just creating a few different graphs, which we can see here from our output. So if I go jump over here and pull up that output, we can see that it gives us a, a nice little 3D graph of a normal distribution, as well as a, a little pie chart down here. So what I did here was first go into ChatGPT and just ask it, is this something that you can help with? So pull up my ChatGPT window here, you can see I first asked, you know, can you help me convert some R code into Python? It said, of course, we'd be happy to help. So then I took our R code that we had in our tool, pasted it in. And if we scroll down here below, we can see that it provided um, that R code equivalent for us. Um, right off the bat, I noticed a few differences. So, you know, one of them down here is it's trying to save the results off to a CSV file. I'm just going to ignore that piece there and just take kind of the main piece it is actually creating those graphs here first. And we'll copy that, go here into Alteryx, and now I'm gonna go grab a Python tool, pull this here onto my canvas, and we'll give it a shot to see how it does. So I'll paste in my code here. We'll go ahead and click Run and test it out. Now we can see here first that it seemed to be able to create our visual of the normal distribution. However, if I scroll down a little bit, we can see it, it aired out for our second plot. So if we go down here just a little bit, we can see, in this case, it gave us an invalid RGBA argument. So we can just make a quick adjustment to that. So if we look here where our labels are being set, I just don't think it likes our names that we've given here. So I'll just give some regular color names, red, and we'll call that green. Uh, another thing here too is that um, we can adjust the start angle of the pie chart so um, that it looks more accurate to this one. So I'm just going to tweak that here and take that piece out. Now we'll run it again. And there we go. So now we can see we have our graphs. If I pull up our other representation, you can kind of see that side by side. Um, but overall, pretty close there. Now, um, obviously, you know, worth pointing out that this thing's not 100% perfect, but can definitely save you a lot of time, um, especially if you have quite a bit of code that you're trying to, you know, translate into another programming language. Um, this can really set you on the right path. Um, you know, obviously, you may need to go in, make a few tweaks, edits, and confirm that everything's looking correct, um, but definitely a pretty cool use case.